celebrating 100 years of KLM. Today is the, well, not today, it's the 7th of October that they were established in 1919. So we are here celebrating, uh, we're hopefully going to have a speech very soon about the history. Uh, but it's an amazing venue. Um, we just been very lucky. Then between the Salvino schism, your mind it travels a different tourism. So you will remember all of them, the fine places you visit through KLM. And I hope much joy it will bring as the plane through the sky goes dancing. And at that time, they raised 1.2 million Dutch guilders, which is about half a million pounds. Uh, you're not doing too much today with half a million pounds, but at that time, you could you could start building an airline uh, with it. Um, today, the new Boeing aircraft is about 200 million dollars, so it gives you a little bit of perspective how we have moved over time. Um, and, and the price of the tickets did not precisely move that same direction. So, <laughs> if you could help us with that, that would be appreciated. Um, but then looking at, at, at that time, so there was a group of business people who really had the vision and the determination to start building and to realize that air travel would change the world. And I think it's quite a visionary approach immediately after, after, the, after the war. And the Queen Wilhelmina at that time decided this is such an important project. I granted the title Royal right from the start. Usually companies get it after 50 years or 75. Skipper Airport took 100 years to get it. But we, we got it really actually before we started already. So the foundation of KLA was in October and in September the very same year we were granted the title Royal. Meaning KLA Royal Dutch Airlines and, and for the Dutch in the room, Koninklijke Luchtvaartmaatschappij, that's how we test if you're really Dutch or not. Uh, if you can pronounce that, uh, you're in. Through Amsterdam and Long Paul, I'm sure you've seen our new launch at Kippel Airport. It's really going to be our flagship store. And uh, with all the, all the changes there, it's going to be ready. It is ready and it's open now and it's going to be fully open in the next two months. Where we even have a balcony. And I know your view on the Dutch weather may be not so positive. Uh, it is actually changing quite a, quite a bit. So you have a nice balcony where you can sit outside, you see the aircraft. Um, and, and more, more serious, it's going to be a wonderful location for many of your customers to connect in Amsterdam and connect, continue to connect that to, to the world. So thank you for your loyalty, thank you for your support for all these years. Thanks to our partners, Delta and, and, and Virgin, for being our partners, not only today, but even more so in, in the future. Thanking our team for preparing this and making sure they continue what to do. And in fact, the mission of Air France Canada here is pretty simple. Really state for more to sell and to serve. To sell your tickets and to serve you as our customers. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Uh